is your 2023 resource roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, it's your girl Emma here and welcome back to my channel Recipe for Success where we like to talk about all things project management, product management, and we are fostering an community and environment of like-minded individuals with career aspirations. So if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing and joining our network. And while you're down there, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps support the channel and I appreciate it a lot. Thanks guys. So today I'm gonna to be doing a 2023 end of year resource roundup. This is my first time doing this, but I was thinking about as we transition out of 2023 and into 2024, what is something that most people are talking about? What is something that you might be reflecting on at this time of year? And for a lot of people that's thinking about goals, doing some goal setting, reflecting on what they've accomplished in the previous year. So if that's you and you're thinking about what it is you've either accomplished in 2023, what kind of career goals and aspirations you might have for 2024 and how you wanna progress into 2024, then hopefully these resources will help you consider things that you can and could do in the new year and ultimately these are just resources that i think can be very very helpful for potential project managers individuals who are not technically project managers but are either considering project managers or need project management skills in their job and anyone who is really honestly just interested in learning more and becoming the best version of themselves the other reason why i wanted to put this video together is because if you watched this video of mine then you know that recently my husband uh, lost his job and one of the things if you are in a similar position is you can work on education you can work on certifications you can work on trying to boost that resume and hopefully some of these resources if you are job hunting will help you as well I've divided these resources into three main categories. The first is going to be educational resources for you. The second is going to be salary resources or compensation resources. And then the third is going to be more sort of tools of the trade. So if a particular area interests you, you can go ahead and fast forward to that part of the video. But first, let's go ahead and start with educational content. So I'm going to talk about resources that are available online today for you if you're interested in learning more about project management or different areas of project management. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a resource called PMI Kickoff. So if you don't know what PMI is, this is the Project Management Institute. They are one of the main forerunners in project management. This PMI Kickoff is a short 45 minute interactive course that you can take online. You basically create an account through PMI. It is free, so it does not cost anything. And they like to label this basically as a tool that helps you understand some of the basics of project management interactively in these bite sized pieces. It's not meant to be a full course, a full crash course, if you will, on every element of project management, but this could be a really good resource for those of you who are maybe considering cutting into project management and want to learn a little bit more about what it is you're getting yourself into. If you are a volunteer on a board or you work with some sort of organization where project management skills would be helpful to you, but you don't want to sit for the full PMP, this would be a great resource for you. Or again, the way PMI states this is anyone who maybe it does not have the formal title of project manager, but could benefit from some project management skills. And frankly, this is a lot of people. I think project management skills are so helpful and useful to everyone that this is something I would consider taking and sitting down for making the time regardless of who you are. It is 45 minutes and it's quick and easy. And I think there's a lot to benefit from this free, again, free interactive course. The second resource that I want to call out here is also from PMI. So this one's called the basics of Scrum. So if you are interested in potentially pivoting from waterfall into agile, if you're interested in learning more about agile principles and just what it takes to become a Scrum master or what that's all about, there are two free resources from PMI that I want to talk about. This first one, like I mentioned, is called the basics of Scrum. So this is going to be an introductory course to help you understand what is Scrum, what goes on in the different phases of Scrum, the roles and responsibilities of all the different people on the team. If you are already PMP certified and looking for your professional development units or your PDUs, this would be what you need for your continuing education to keep up your PMP certification. This gets you one PDU and again, it's free. It costs nothing for you. So this is something where either if you have a PMP and you're considering moving into Agile or you don't have a PMP maybe and you just want to learn a little bit more about Agile, this is a great free resource for you going into 2024 to consider. I think it's roughly like an hour course. So again, not too lengthy, but definitely something that hopefully will help illuminate and give you some more education on Scrum. The other free resource that PMI offers related to um, Agile is called 
the basics of disciplined agile. Now this course, my understanding is more focused on helping you understand agile in totality and what it might take to get their certification in agile. So if you're interested in becoming a scrum master, this also might be a good um, introductory free course for you to sit and take. I don't know about you, but many of the jobs that I've worked for, especially around the holidays, tend to be a little bit slower. And if you're working, being able to say that you spent that time focused on your own professional development and education can definitely help win you points with your manager or leadership. And so these are some courses that you could potentially sit and take to do some of that continuing education during some less busy times during the year. And then the last free course offered through PMI that I want to talk about is called Project Management for Beginners. So this is a bit of a more extensive project management course than that PMI kickoff, which really is meant for non-PMs to help introduce concepts of project management. This is going to be more lengthy. And in fact, it actually qualifies for four PDUs or four professional development units. So if you are looking to get those PDUs for whatever reason, this is a course that will help you get those. Um, I did want to say again, I did want to mention again that this is free, so it costs nothing. It's offered by PMI. It's all online, so you can do it on your own time. You do need to make sure that you create an account with PMI, but then you can access all of these resources for free. So again, really great. Hopefully you guys find these help. And if you decide to take one of these courses, please come back, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. If you thought the price was right, if you felt like you got value out of it. Two other educational resources I want to talk about here. If you are a PM or if you are considering a PM, then you've probably already heard of the Coursera Google Project Management course. If you have not I want to give a brief shout out to this course. It is an entry level project management course that helps actually educate you on what project management is. Oftentimes people ask me about the PMP versus the Google Coursera project management course, and they are different things entirely. The Google project management certificate is a certificate, but it is actually educational content that will teach you about project management. The PMP is a test that you sit and take to prove that you already know about project management. And in fact, if you were to do these in an order, you would want to do the Google project management certificate first, because that actually then counts towards your education for the PMP certification. The last resource that I'm going to talk about in regards to project management education and content is called PDU of the day. So this is a website or blog, if you will, where they talk about professional development units and they post one that's available every day. So if you already have a certification, you're looking to maintain that certification with a PDU and you're looking to do that on the cheap or for free, this blog I think can definitely help you. It's something that obviously someone's spending a lot of time and effort to put together. So definitely make sure you're taking advantage of all these resources that are out there for you to help evolve your career and get the most out of them. Let me know down below which of these educational contents you're most excited to try in the new year. All right, now let's pivot and talk a little bit about salary information and compensation. The first is called levels.fyi. So this is actually just a website that I first heard of, I think in 2021. And basically it is a crowdsourced website where people come and post and share all of their relevant compensation information anonymously. So this actually helps you get a pulse on the industry and I really like it because it is crowdsourced because there is information coming directly from people and I feel like they give a lot of really specific information compared to something like Glassdoor that feels like it's lagging a little bit. The information is title dependent so you can look for a title like program manager they will generally show you what different companies pay which i really like so if you are applying for program manager roles in tech and you're applying i don't know at microsoft compared to amazon they're going to tell you what the roles pay for those different companies or what other people are getting in terms of compensation so you can see that hopefully going into these interviews and therefore hopefully negotiate and get a more fulfilling total compensation or hopefully at least you go in knowing what to expect the other two resources that I really like, PMI offers a interactive salary calculator. So this is one, um, I think I've done a whole video on this before, but definitely a resource that is free and that I suggest to people all the time. So this is basically, you can plug in um, the title, you can plug in whether or not you have a PMP, you can plug in your metro area or state. And I just want to point out that this is not US specific. It also includes Canada, I believe, some of the provinces of Canada. So this is definitely a resource for more than just Americans. And one of the things I like about this resource um, 
in comparison is that they do percentiles. So percentiles are going to let you know what percentage of people are making at least that. So for example, if you do pick the 25th percentile, then you're basically saying 75% of people make at least that or more. If you pick the 75th percentile, then you're essentially saying that 25% of people make that or more. So if you get an offer from a company, you can use percentiles to try to understand where you actually rank in terms of are you actually getting paid on the higher end of the bell curve in the middle or towards the bottom. The other resource that can be helpful if you are an international project manager and you're trying to understand what salary and total compensation looks like in your country is Project Management's Earning Power Salary Survey. The 13th edition just came out in November of 2022. And in fact, I will have an entire video talking about my findings, my perspective on the outcomes and output of that salary survey for 2023. But if you're interested, you can actually get the abstract for free directly on PMI's website. And again, this survey survey covers 20 different countries across the world asking about project managers from all those different countries, all their different opinions. And because of that, if you are someone who is in India, if you are in Colombia or in Mexico and you're looking for salary information, this is a good resource for you. Last but not least, I want to talk about some tools of the trade. So historically, Microsoft Project, I think, has been the largest share of project management software within the industry. And this is one where I've talked about Microsoft Project in the past. I think there tends to be a higher startup cost to understand, understanding how Microsoft Project works. But if you do that, I do think it can really pay off and it is a very, very helpful tool. That being said, I think there is some statistics to suggest that Jira and Jira Line, especially if you're going to move into the agile space, is a more important and useful tool that is gaining in popularity. So if you are a PM, if you're considering what tools to maybe invest in or take a course on, I, I definitely would consider Jira at this time. It's one that I've noticed as I progressed in my career, I've started to use more and more and more. Um, That's it, folks, for our 2023 end of year resource roundup for project management Again, if you enjoyed this video, if you end up taking any of these courses or using any of these resources, please give this video a big thumbs up. It takes me a lot of time to put everything together to share with you. And I definitely want to hear from you guys if this is valuable content and if you appreciate and enjoy this kind of information. I wish you the best end of year for 2023 and hope that the new year brings you everything that you're looking for. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.